And now, to officially open the fourth Brazilian Plastics Congress, we will hear from Mr. José Ricardo Roriz Coelho, the second VP at Fiesp and chairman of Abiplast and Cindyplast. Welcome, Mr. Coelho. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the fourth Brazilian Plastics Congress. I'd like to congratulate the organizers and through Alfredo, I'd like to greet everyone who took part in organizing this Congress. I'd like to say hello to all speakers, participants. We have many of them, sponsors, and this year has become a benchmark over the years for the plastic industry. So it's a great joy to be here with you today. Circular economy is part of Abiplast's strategic planning and operations since 2014. Plastic is present in 95% of production chain and it is an inducer of the circular economy in the Brazilian industry. Since 2016, there has been talk of the new plastics economy, which only makes sense in a circular world. We have been implementing projects in five main areas, education and consumption, redesign, reuse and recycling, imaging, reverse logistics and new business models. Next, please. We also have education and consumption initiatives. Next, please. So education and consumption, sort, don't sort. That comes from 13 packaging associations and it aims to inform, inspire and mobilize the Brazilian population to sort waste and to dispose of it correctly through cards, videos and information. The Plastic Old Transformer Initiative, which comes from a Braskem and Abiplast partnership focuses on education on plastics. Over 200,000 views on our portal. We also have a Kids Zania project with over 17,000 kids having visited collecting plastic cups during the last São Silvestre marathon with 35,000 runners. The Cubo project with over 61 million impacts. Isopor Amigo was developed in partnership with Simpest from Santa Catarina, promoting reverse logistics of plastic products made in expanded polystyrene, polyesterine, EPS and XPS. And we also have events in the largest industrial hub in Latin America with 10,000 people going through. We are partners in the community that promotes circular economy and society with content for teachers and companies aiming to make sure that nothing becomes waste. Over 270,000 people have been involved. So we have Copinho Legal, Cool Cup. We collect plastic cups and exchange them for donations. Cool Caps, sponsored by Abiplast, Braskem and Pigplast, which collects caps and exchanges them for donations. We have collected over 600 tons of caps. We also have institutional support to the Plastic Seeds Project, which is implemented with the support of Simpedi, which is exchanges school waste for school equipment, such as bowls, nets, books, and Plastic do Bain which is implemented by Cintiplast in Rio Grande do Sul, educating adults on how to recycle and the potential of plastics. Next, please. We also have different initiatives focusing on new business models. Next, please. To dispose of urban solid waste, we started a partnership with ABDI to develop a new business model for urban solid waste disposal with the participation of the private sector to manage urban solid waste, GRSU, in partnership with the government. 
by doing that, City Hall stops spending on waste, has a revenue, and they can use waste to gain scale in their recycling projects. Revenue increases and the industry it gets paid back through reverse logistics and gamification. So these projects are focused on redesigning packaging, focusing on reuse, reuse and recycle. The Plastic Cooperation Network is the first Brazilian initiative for circular economy involving all links, extended links involving plastics, petrochemical industry, recyclers, waste picker, co-ops, brand owners, managers, waste managers, over 50 members are part of it. It was established three years ago and its strategic objectives are to increase recyclability of plastic packaging, to increase the volume of plastic waste to be recycled. Some of the consumer packaging goods are Procter & Gamble, Unilever, Danone and Ambev. Senaplast. Corporate is a stamp that appreciates recycling companies working according to environmental, social, and economic standards required by law. Senaplast product is, is a seal of approval for the new recyclable resins according to European standards, ensuring the performance of recycled resin. Pellet Zero, Abiplast provides licenses for this program since 2014, and it aims to engage the sector in continuous initiatives to decrease pellets in transformation and plastic material recycling plants, according to the Operation Clean Sweep rules, OCS Blue, and the Global Inno Polymers Open Innovation Program is a project that was developed with the SPIN Startups platform through a partnership with Stanford Institute, fostering startups that focus on plastic packaging recycling. We also work on reverse logistics. This is the national program for reverse logistics for post-consumer packaging. It was established in 2012. And in the first phase from 2012 to 2017, the coalition for packaging through 22 associations, which include Abiplast, supported 802 waste picker organizations, having done 4,817 4, capacity building initiatives, management in initiatives, and 2,000 voluntary delivery posts, reducing landfill disposal by 23 the investment was 2.1 billion over five years, roughly 500 million a year invested. Next, please. And we also have, next, please. Initiatives to publicize plastic. We're going to have a summit, which was inspired by the World Economic Forum 2020, which proposed a new capitalism, focusing on stakeholders with all interests involved, shareholders, local community, companies, the environment. This event will discuss circular economy and the plastic industry will be leading that movement. And my last slide, fatal power circular made to circulate this is a preview here at the Brazilian Plastics Congress, the first plastic portal focusing on circular economy, providing information and news about what's being discussed the, and what the companies and key opinion leaders are discussing about this topic and the Abiplast Manifesto, the time for circular economy. So we've been implementing many initiatives. Today we'll be discussing different topics and we will be sharing a lot of information. So I wish us all a great Congress with interesting presentations. And once again, thank you for the invitation. 
and for allowing me to be here on such an important day for the plastic industry. Thank you and congratulations to the